They said, Benny really looks like he doesn't like the camera in his face, yet you put it in his face anyway. <laughs> Is that the truth, dude? Nah. Am I doing anything against you, Will? Nah. But you got some backfilling to do and screening and stuff first. Mm. Can you tackle this project on your own? Dude, it might be a little hard, but I think I can do it. I believe in you. They look good, bud. You look great. <laughs> I meant the level. Right. You're breathing on me. All right, man, here's the plan with this, right? Thing's still going. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How you doing on this windy day, bud? As good as I can without flying away, dude. <laughs> it's one of those days you're thankful you're a hardscaper and not a landscaper because blowing leaves on a day like this. Or cutting grass, dusty grass. Oh, there's nothing worse than going out to do spring or fall cleanups and you got 15 to 25 mile an hour winds, nothing worse. Thankfully as hardscapers, your pavers and your wall block most likely will not blow away. And if they do start blowing away, it's time to pack it up. <laughs> so Benny's been making a mess while I was gone, but he's getting stuff done. It's almost completely backfilled that first row. And he also cleaned up this this side area very nicely. Took out all the weeds and grass that were growing, the big rocks, and now we'll be able to put uh, fabric down and decorative stone, and also this area behind the wall going down the fence. Everything behind this wall is gonna be flower beds. They wanna do some plantings, so we won't be doing anything except putting soil and uh, leveling it all off. But the hardest part's done, Benny. The majority of the first rows in. You know, now it's just kind of stacking block, backfilling it. Putting it on top. Good to see you, man. What time did you get here? 8.30. 8.30. Ben was here by himself because I went and got some trailer tires. Probably be easier to show you the one that's on the spare. Nice good size tread. Called the Toe Stars, Benny. The Toe Star. I did not go with a very expensive tire. These are like 130 or so a piece. And um, I'm curious to see how, how long the cheaper tires last. And then maybe next time, if those wear out really quick, I'll try the more expensive brand. But if I get a couple years out of them, I'm happy with it. And um, it's good to have new tires all the way around for when I go pick up that machine. Enjoy the video, right, Ben? Enjoy it. How's it going everyone? Last video we left off with all these pavers laid and that first course installed. While I was gone this morning getting tires for the dump trailer, Ben started core filling these blocks and cleaning up that side area like I would shown you. So he got us a good head start on the day. And now we're ready to blow off all the dust, get everything cleaned on that the top of those first row of blocks right there. And to add on the next row, we're going to be going straight up. We're not doing a setback because it's not a retaining wall that's holding back a lot of pressure. So we're just putting a couple beads of concrete adhesive in between the rows of block. And that's going to help lock everything together, but also give it some flexibility, which I'm going to explain a little bit later in this video. So now we're about to have to square up and get our cornerstone or our corner, corner block set in for our set of stairs we're going to be building. And that string is just helping us uh, line that up to where it is. We ended up having to trim the corner block about an inch and a half. And it ended up lining up pretty good. But I'm going to uh, let you guys sit back on this time lapse and watch us put these uh, steps together. And just continue to build this wall.
don't know if you guys can see this little bump out right here. You gotta be aware of those. We're off to building the block steps, and you may have seen in some of my videos when I use GeoGrid in between the layers of the backfill for steps. In this application, it's just not necessary. We got three steps that are gonna lead up to a small landing, and just compacting it in a couple lifts or a clean base stone will be more than sufficient. So, like I said, with that string, I found the cornerstone earlier on the right and then we match the distance on the left and it's just a matter of building the side walls and then the steps in the middle to to meet each other and depending on the block that you use on your project the measurements are all going to be a little different so you just got to pay attention double check triple check your measurements and um, you know just like setting the first row of a wall steps are the same way you got to take your time Make sure they're level and that they all meet up with each other the right way. Bud, how you feeling? Feeling good, dude. How you feeling? Feeling good. It's 309. We got two steps. We're gonna need at least one more. Moving along though, bud. Like I said, these Jeunesse gray color tones with the Teco, they fade in pretty good. Yep. So we got a couple tiers up. That's going to be our top level. And then just kind of tear down with the slope over here. And then we'll actually do wall block cap around the edges to meet that. That way the border, everything is encapsulated with the wall cap. That'll look good, right? And then you'll be able to use that corner to just kind of access the side there. You guys saw the last two rows of block I didn't actually core fill and on a small sitting wall that's not retaining much pressure after the first row you don't need to core fill them but we always fill in the the V channels to lock the blocks together so they can't shift side to side and every block has a few dabs of glue on it and when that glue sets it's all just gonna lock into place but that glue is also flexible, Benny. Like that's what some people I don't think understand is that the way that we build walls, some people have asked me like, hey, why don't you pour the, uh, build the block on a concrete footing or something? And it's like, it's just overkill, dude, you know? If you're doing, like if you were doing a block wall where you mortared them together, you have to pour a footing because your ultimate goal is to create this one solid piece. But when you dry lay anything even natural stone or block on a clean three-quarter you're allowing it to shift just a small amount and that glue is flexible so even if it moves like a sixteenth of an inch the glue flexes but it still holds the blocks together good morning everyone today is friday april 14th 2023 benny what are you doing just capping just capping what are you doing? I don't know. I'm just talking, I guess. Benny, nice job down here, bro. Nope. I literally haven't even walked past this AC unit on this job, so that's everything Benny right there. <laughs> I don't think, other than just to make a measurement on the estimate, that's the only yeah. time I've been down that hallway. 
Nice quarters. Uh, nice job. <laughs> nice job. So we actually worked all day yesterday off camera just to kind of get some stuff done. Sometimes I got to put the camera down and just focus, but we got the entire uh, right side excavated and, and pretty much backfilled close to height. We took out all the sauna tubes and bricks and timbers that were over here. Those are all gone. Took out the pavers over here that were on his property line. That's what this string represents. Right on the edge of the property line. This is all going to be topsoiled. And it'll be uh, new grass. And we're going to stop the walkway right on the edge of the house. So when we go to lay that walkway out, we're going to find whatever joint line makes most sense. Follow it straight down the house and then replicate the stone bed that we have on the inside. And in between the pavers in the house, we'll put that same stone on the outside. So while Ben's doing some caps, I'm going to work this drainage out. All I'm going to be doing is coming over and then 90 degreeing it down a little ways over here. This pipe's not going to go to daylight anywhere. It's just going to help defer water out to the furthest point of the property line. And then this is all sloped down. And it'll just slowly permeate into the ground. So this is a four inch corrugated pipe with perforated holes in it all around the edges so that water if it's really heavy can be collected into the pipe and the pipe will uh, defer the water to wherever you're kind of laying it out and this is pretty much just going to go under the walkway and then down the edge of the walkway in the the natural decorative stone bed i guess we're going to be creating afterwards and we're just going to stop it down about halfway down the edge of the house and it's just going to help if there's a really like an abundance of water in the front yard, which is it's just kind of a weird setup on this property. But that front patio area, which I don't think is really ever going to be a big water issue. So but that's just going to help um, get it around the corner if there ever is. And then it'll just kind of flow down to the to the natural grade. But we're just uh, getting the job site to grade so we can extend pavers out to that walkway area and then start going down the edge of the house. So I'm just going to let you guys follow along as we make some more progress on the job. Today is Monday, April 17th, 
and we've done some work on this job off camera i actually came here this past saturday to just get a little bit done and then we've been working all morning it's two o'clock in the afternoon right now let me show you guys around we're set up to cut this asphalt i'm gonna make a nice clean cut that goes to the edge of that concrete pad over there and that's going to let us form a nice flower bed in between the wall and the driveway. We got our little ramp of pavers down and meshed in with our front walkway. The original plan, we were going to put some steps in, but the customer really wanted to make sure we could access it with no steps in case we had to bring anything in or they needed to bring anything in or if they had a wheelchair or handicapped people that needed to get into here. So. We did a nice little slope. You can see on the wall how much of a slope it is. But it's gonna mesh in nicely with the front here. And then we gotta really slope it down to the backyard as well. But the wall is built, it's capped. Those step downs are to meet the grade of the driveway. It's actually really sloped. Benny, what's up dude? How you living? Beautiful day outside. Yeah. It's good. I had a comment, dude, from someone about you. They said, they said, Benny really looks like he doesn't like the camera in his face, yet you put it in his face anyway. <laughs> Is that the truth, dude? Nah. Am I doing anything against your will? Nah. I think you're an all-star, dude. Maybe it's just my, uh, my act. It's your act, dude, for sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's all about how you act, I guess. Benny, I love the way you act, bro. We are going to have to trim these pavers just a hair so that the border pavers can fit in. This bump out didn't quite work out to where the joint line met up, so those are all going to have to be trimmed down. This paver looks so bright because it's actually dry <laughs> and the rest are wet, so... What do you think about the wall, Benny? I like how we raise it up a little bit. It kind of does look a little bit more than just a tiered wall. Yeah. It's definitely added a lot of like, sides to it. It's not good. Got all the rocks back there. This was Benny's project. That all has geotextile soil separation fabric under it so there won't be weeds for a very long time we have our little gap in between the pavers and the wall that's going to get filled in with that chip stone clean chip stone for water to go into that channel permeate down into that french drain once we get this asphalt cut that's when we can put this top paver landing in, where it's going to meet the cap to the asphalt. So you have three steps up, and then you're at your driveway height. Alright man, I'll stop messing around. You ready? Cool. They look good, bud? You look great. <laughs> I meant the level. There goes the tip. It's gone. It's the breathing on me. <laughs> Quit breathing on me. Just stand over you, dude, and huff and puff. You know what I always love, dude, when I'm like going through and editing videos? Sometimes I got the head cam on, bro, and I just literally pointed at my feet, dude. So like everything, <laughs> or like not like completely that far, but it can get it can be pretty off at times, dude. And it's like not catching nothing. So I'm like, okay, he's just watching like a six minute clip of you doing machine work, dude, and it's just pointed at like your lap. I do this one, dude. Yeah, hold it tight, dude. That looks nice. I can't believe you did all that while I was just screwing around. Appreciate your hard work, Ben. I'm gonna try to make money here. <laughs> try to justify my my being. 
Justify your bean. <laughs> My bean. Yeah, <laughs> My name's Ben. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Ben. Ben. I'm a human Ben. <laughs> that looks good? good, yeah. It's gonna look really nice with some like soft scaping, dude, like plants and everything. Yeah, some mulch. Kind of like, uh, small flowering shrubs, dude. Yep. Something to take up the space. A couple of uh, other potted flowers or whatnot. Yeah, and I think he wants to do like perennials so we can cut them down and put snow on this. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Because he's got nowhere else. That's what he was saying the other day. It's a good move. That's a line, dude. I'll tell you what. We are ready to cut. I'm gonna score this line without any water. And then I'm gonna start cutting with water after I score the line. So I have that, that scored line to follow. Hey bud, can't see anything. Oh my gosh. I was cutting by faith. Got a little bit more to break off on the end here, but we got the big portion of it out. It's not going to be perfect. A lot of this asphalt's damaged and has been damaged, but much better than the line that was there before. I laid the fabric over our three-quarter inch clean backfill stone so that the soil we put up against it, it'll prevent migration. Got to put a little bit of fabric there too. Yeah. Good dump. Successful. Alright man, here's the plan with this, right? Thing's still going. We're gonna kind of send a joint line down the middle there. And whatever like makes the most sense on each side will stop for the border so there's no like side cuts.
that maybe cuts up against the asphalt but shouldn't have any cuts up against the steps or on the left or right side but you got some backfilling to do and screening and stuff first mm. can you tackle this project on your own dude it might be a little hard but i think i can do it i believe in you <laughs> so as i was saying earlier we needed to trim all these pavers so that we can fit our two border bricks in between the main pavers and the wall cap so we had to take like a, about an inch and a half off of the majority of them and we're just setting up a line so we can mark it with our screed and then we're going to uh, score the line and cut it just like we did the asphalt So once we score it, we wash everything down and, and get everything around the area that we're going to be cutting nice and damp so that this paste we make while we're wet cutting is easy to clean off. That stuff can stain pavers really easy, so you want to make sure all surfaces around it are wet. Okay, we got that whole thing cut. Looks good. One last thing to do, and now... That we have that done, there's not going to be many cuts on the walkway down the whole edge. There will only be cuts on the beginning and the end of it. So we're going to load up all the junk that's around here. Clean up the job site a little, Benny. What do you think? Yeah, some job site maintenance. Better than doing it all at once, you know? Mm. Or is it being in the way? Yep. That's it for this video guys. We got Travis coming back in the next video. We're going to be doing that walkway that goes down the right side of the house. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. To all the viewers who have been watching all the uploads, thank you very much for the support. And as always, till the next one, God bless. Peace. <laughs>